Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingeleli and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be answering a few monohybrid questions from previous question papers. I will be simplifying the question for you guys, highlighting concepts that you need to be aware of, and also speaking about certain mistakes or rather addressing certain mistakes that you need to avoid when you are answering monohybrid questions. Okay, so without wasting time, but okay, guys, remember to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, please, please subscribe to the channel, um, please also like this video, share it with your classmates and also your schoolmates. All right, so let's not waste time and go through the first question. Let's see what we have here. So we are given 2.1 in rabbits, we are having black fur. Black fur is produced by an allele, capital letter B, um, and white fur is produced by allele, small letter B. Now, that is enough information for you to understand what is happening here, guys. Because remember, when we talk about monohybrid crosses, we are basically talking about one trait or one gene or one characteristic being investigated, right? Um, but when we do a dihybrid cross, or when we look at dihybrids, we are looking at two traits or two characteristics. Now, whenever you come across a monohybrid question, you need to be able to determine the trait that they are talking about in question. And that trait or gene is going to have its alleles, and you are normally given two possible alleles. Okay. Now, obviously, we know that a gene is a segment of DNA that we find in our chromosome that codes for a certain characteristic. Now, the characteristic that we are talking about here is fur color, all right? It's the fur color because they're talking about black fur and white fur. That's the trait that we are looking at here. Now, the alleles that you are given, which are the alternative forms of the gene, you are given a black fur, so the fur color can either be black or white. Now, what we are also given here is letters. We are given these letters, guys, and they are not there for the show or just to, look, to make the question paper look a certain way. They are there for a reason, basics of genetics, right? So the black fur is given a capital letter B, and the white fur is given a small letter B. That is telling me and you something. Whenever you are having the alleles, one receives a capital letter, which is black in our case, and one receives a small letter of the same, the small size of the same letter. In our case, it's the white fur. That is telling us that the black fur is actually dominant and the white fur is recessive since it has received the small letter. That is very important information. Those are basics, guys. Now, the other information that we can get here is if we we're to look at a rabbit and this rabbit is having a black fur. Now, the possible genotypes are that this rabbit either has a capital letter B, capital letter B in its genotype, or a capital letter small b. If this rabbit has a fur, black fur color, it either has a genotype that is homozygous dominant, having capital letter B, capital letter B, meaning it's the same gene, homo, same, same gene. It is black gene and a black gene, meaning it received or inherited, not even the word it received, it inherited the black fur color gene from the mother and the black fur color gene from the father, hence the two letters. Now, it is also possible that a rabbit that has a black fur color may be heterozygous in its genotype because it will still be black because black is dominant over Y. That's over white, not Y, not X and Y. It is dominant over white because that's what they've mentioned here and they've also given us the letters. Now, that allows you to understand exactly what is happening in this question, right? So, we're having our traits and our alleles here. So, okay, I've explained that. I hope you guys understand. So, this will be a homozygous dominant black and a heterozygous black. Then, the white fur color. The white fur color 
is recessive. So in a heterozygous condition, in this condition, it gets masked. So in a heterozygous condition, this genotype is telling us that there are different genes. There is a black gene and a white fur color gene. Okay, then in our white, there is only one possible genotype. And the possible genotype is two small letter Bs because this is recessive. This is the recessive gene. So it's only going to be uh, visible in its recessive nature, which is homozygous recessive. So whenever you get a monohybrid or a dihybrid question, break it down, take out the trait in the question and also the alleles. Write down the letters and the possible genotypes. Now, going back to the question, the table below shows the genotypes of some rabbits. You're given three rabbits, rabbit one, two, and three. You're also given the genotype for each rabbit. So it's up to you if you want to write the phenotype, which will make it easier for you, or you just leave it. So because we, are sh we should be able to to identify the phenotype. So from here, um, capital letter B, capital letter B, which fur color, there it is. So it's black fur color. This one is black fur color. This one is also black. There it is. It's also black and this one is white. Okay, I think my pen is way too thick. Okay, let's see how that one goes. The first question, 211, what is the phenotype? Let's remind ourselves, guys, that when we talk about the phenotype, we are talking about the physical appearance. We are talking about the physical appearance, what we can see. So when we are looking at the fur color of our rabbits, we either see a black fur rabbit or a white fur rabbit. Now, what is the phenotype produced by the recessive allele? The recessive allele is white. So the phenotype that you are going to see or that is produced by a recessive allele is white. So your answer is white over here. Now my pen is way too thin. Okay, let's hope that's a little better. Now what is the phenotype of rabbit 2? There is rabbit 2. You are given the genotype. Capital letter B, small letter B. And what is the phenotype? Because they've asked us, the phenotype, not the genotype. So you can't copy and paste this here because this is a genotype. They're asking you for the phenotype. When you look at the rabbit, what is the fur color? It's black. So the answer here, black fur. Okay. Number one, two or three of rabbits that are pure bred. Pure bred means homozygous. Means homozygous and means um, basically having the same gene. So it's a genotype that is having the same gene. So black and black and uh, white and white, there. So rabbit one and rabbit two. So this is having black gene, black gene, which is going to give us a black uh, fur color. And this is having white gene, white gene, which is going to give us a white fur color. Okay, so that's actually one, two. That's where we're getting our two marks. Give the number only of the rabbit that is homozygous dominant. Homozygous dominant. There it is. Homozygous, same gene that is dominant, that has the dominant gene or dominant allele. Dominant, dominant, same gene. So that is... Rabbit one. Hope it makes sense. Then two, one, three. We're doing a cross. Use a genetic cross to show the percentage chance of rabbit one and rabbit three having offspring with white fur. So we are going to do a cross between rabbit one and rabbit three. We are crossing these two. And we need to find out the percentage chance of these rabbits having offspring with white fur. Okay, let's do this. Right, let's do our cross. Um, okay, P1, phenotype. Uh, let's check. 
the fur colors rabbit one is black and rabbit three is white so rabbit one is black fur crossed with white fur you know my kids always ask me about <laughs> my f the way i write the f i'm not sure what's wrong with my f oh but sometimes my f looks like this so this can be fur this can be fur so anyways then the genotype you are given the genotype guys the genotype for rabbit one it's capital letter b capital letter b rabbit three small letter b small letter b meiosis will take place okay meiosis will then take place um law of segregation capital letter b capital letter b small letter b small letter b and these are our gametes fertilization will then take place uh, then we cross the gametes together um, okay capital letter b small letter b 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 f1 our genotype remember you may group the same genotype so actually you need to not even you may you need to group the same genotypes so what are we having here uh, we are actually having the same genotype for our offsprings all of them are heterozygous so it's four of capital letter b small letter b and the genotype uh not the genotype the phenotype all of them are what are they white or black guys are they white or black let's go on they are black because black is the dominant um gene okay there's four of them and they are black we are done with the cross but we are not done with the question because we need to answer the question it's saying you must show the percentage chance of these two rabbits having white fur is there a chance of them having white fur zero because all four of these offsprings are black so therefore there is a zero percentage chance of white fur offsprings you've now answered the question the marking for this cross you will have a compulsory mark for the percentage it'll be a compulsory mark so it'll be one mark for compulsory plus any five marks that will make up the six marks remember to write your p1 and f1 uh, you get a mark for that meiosis and fertilization and gametes you get a mark for that we need these three words for you to get a mark in this order and these words must be in line with what is happening in your cross phenotype the correct phenotype correct genotype correct correct genotype correct phenotype the teacher will choose any five um but the format needs to be correct make sure that your format is correct at all times all right guys so this is a bonus question for this video i don't want to make this video long so this is the question uh try and do this cross please it's a monohybrid cross try and do it pause the video and do it then when you're done you can just play the video i'm not going to do the cross with you i will just do everything and show you um the final answer there's your answer there's your answer i've done the cross for you all right all the best with your test and exam